Because you have been an enemy of the country since day one. And again, I welcomed all you Hillary reporters. All you Hillary supporters. All you Hillary lovers. I told you you were going to agree with me all night. Do you want to die of cancer? I bet you don't. I bet you don't want to listen to this. No matter what your political affiliation is, you do not want to die of cancer. Well, I'm helping you let you know who is causing these issues. It says an Israeli report claims that the U.S. administration has stopped updating Israel about developments in nuclear negotiations between world power and Iran. Allegedly in response to Prime Minister Netanyahu's decision to accept an invitation by Republicans to address Congress on the issue. They didn't tell Obama because Obama is anti-American. Now I know, and this bothers me a lot. Why is it that so many people that are part of the liberty movement, of which I consider myself, why is it that so many people are against any form of... Um, restraint on this when you can see clearly that Iran is going to melt this down even if they don't use it as a dirty bomb which you know outright they want to do all right friends Iran nuclear near spoiler Shia group takes US embassy vehicles and weapons in Yemen I actually have two articles to go, and I brought poor Christelle up here for uh, nothing. Kurt Nemo, Prison Planet. Iran nuclear deer spoiler. Shia group takes U.S. embassy vehicles and weapons in Yemen. On Sunday, Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei said he would accept a compromise in nuclear talks with the West. All right. I got to remember, I invited the Hillary supporters. So, I'm going to pretend I'm talking to Hillary supporters, and I need them not to turn me off. And that's a hard one. Even if the Ayatollah Khomeini, and this hurts me to say, is right, they are sitting in an earthquake zone Therefore, they're going to cause what Greenpeace, who you Hillary supporters support, Greenpeace said they're due for an earthquake. I would go along, it says, with any agreement that could be made. Of course, it is not a bad deal. No agreement is better than an agreement which runs contrary to our nation's interest, Khomeini said. Of course, it's his country. The Israelis are in steadfast opposition to any deal between Iran and the rest. Now, what do I support personally? If you're going to attack me personally, I support Jews. I do not support Zionism. My problem with the building of an Iran nuclear power plant is that they are building it on a nuclear zone, an earth, a nuclear zone. By that I mean a place that's about to look at a freaking earthquake that's going to cause a meltdown and going to kill a whole bunch of Jews and even more Arabs. It's true. It says uh, the Israelis are in steadfast opposition to any deal between Iran and the West. Of course they are. Let me tell you why. Because I don't believe that Iran said that they were going to eliminate Israel from existence. I already know that that was misquoted. But ISIS will in fact, use radical Islam, which they are. I'm not talking to your average Islamist here. They will use it as a dirty bomb. What is a dirty bomb? Let's pretend my spit is poisonous. I spit on my hand. I'm not really going to do it. Puh! 
and then I fling it at the camera, high def, low def. I fling it at the camera. One of those spittles causes cancer. Therefore, you all got it. That's a dirty bomb. Being dirty, if you get hit by the quote-unquote dirt, radioactive, you get it. You get cancer, you die, you have heart trouble, your life sucks. They're also sitting on an earthquake zone. Listen to this. This is Mark Langfan, the Bethlehem-based news agency, Ma'an, has cited the Kuwaiti newspaper report, which a with there's a link on it. It says Saturday that U.S. President Barack Obama thwarted an Israeli military attack against Iran's nuclear facilities in 2014 by threatening to shoot down Israeli jets before they could reach their targets in Iran. This might be one of the few things that I agree with Barack Obama on, but just for different reasons. It's not that I'm against Israel, it's because I'm against a nuclear meltdown caused by an earthquake, which I've already proven to you is going to happen within the next 25 years. According to Al Jarida, the Netanyahu government took the decision to strike Iran sometime in 2014, soon after Israel discovered the United States and Iran had been involved in secret talks over Iran's nuclear program and were about to sign an agreement that regard behind Israeli's attack. Now, let me point out here real quick that Obama is not a fan of Netanyahu. Therefore, he came in favor of this. But by siding with Iran, what he doesn't realize is he's setting up a nuclear power plant to go red in a major earthquake zone. Yes, I'm dying of thirst and I slurped into the microphone. If you want to do better, then go ahead and do so. The report claimed that an, unman, an unnamed Israeli minister who has good ties with the U.S. administration revealed the attack plan to Secretary of State John Kerry and Obama when threatened to shoot down the Israeli jets before they could reach their targets in Iran. So basically, Barack Obama has put himself in this situation where He's going to support people based on a political decision, but completely miss that much of this is in fact a geological decision. We are looking at a major event here that whether you're Republican, whether you're Democrat, whether you think I'm really cool, or whether you think I'm the fat ass that you wish the hell would shut up, we are reaching a point here where this is obvious to everyone. Nuclear is not the way that we need to go. I'm not saying that I'm in favor of fracking. I'm not. I'm not saying that I'm in favor of pumping all the coal debris into the air that we can possibly promote and uh, let's just hope we all survive without getting a cancer. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, as Christelle almost falls over, is that we are not in favor of killing ourselves with coal. We are simply not in favor of killing ourselves in any way, shape, or form. Christelle, would you like the ceiling to fall on you? No. Did that feel good? Uh, she made me do this. Did that feel good? No. Now, do you care whether or not that happened? She almost made it. Do you care whether or not that happened from the ceiling falling on you? I'm not on camera. Please turn it around. Do you care whether or not... Fix it. Did you care whether or not that happened because I hit you with the ceiling? Or do you care whether or not it happened by random luck? Did that make any difference? All right, friends, look, the camera got knocked off balance. We're being silly. We got another report tomorrow. 
But friends, listen, I know I'm being silly, I know I'm being unprofessional, but listen to me. It doesn't matter whether or not you get, I'm going to do it again. It doesn't matter whether you get hit by this hat or whether or not the ceiling falls on you. It doesn't matter whether or not you get cancer because you agreed with me. And it doesn't matter whether or not you get cancer because you don't agree with me. You do, you don't. Friends, nuclear power is very bad. And that is why I will be here tomorrow night as well. Friends, good night. God bless. Thank you for tuning in. Um, you're listening to the correct views. Do you like what I said? Even if you're a Hillary Clinton supporter, you know that you do in fact support what I said tonight. We only agree once a month. Please donate to me. You can do so at the correct views at hotmail.com. Every penny you give to me goes to better shows. Also look up to uh, the uh, um, youtube.com slash the correct views. YouTube.com um, for everything with the media speaks. You've got Kyle Court, D Lake, and myself always on. We had like a lot of listeners today. Some of you have tuned out. Thank you, friends. That This is like, thank you very much. Good night. God bless.